Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only, the original Silo Man, coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Over the next roughly 15 minutes, I hope to be taking you through some of the last photographs that we're going to be shooting of the interior of the work that we've been doing on the Launch Control Center. And I hope you enjoy it. Sorry for the delay and I hope everyone is safe. What you're seeing here is the, the bathroom on the upper level. We were just finishing up on some of the electrical work. We need to come back through and replaster and do things like that. Just the finite details. There's a picture far away of the back end of the shower. You know, we're putting up things like the the, the uh, towel racks and things like that. There's the utility tunnel. We've got the light in. We still need to put the cover plates on, on the outlets themselves. Then there you can see the other side of it with the switch, obviously, for the light itself. And that's outside in the open area and obviously that's just a, what we're using for the to cut the trim miter saw there we got Mario putting up the backup lights we're giving the second coat to the paint a few of the things you may notice here that there's not a lot of light fixtures I wasn't sure how I wanted to run the lights on this particular site the last one I did uh, we mounted everything track lighting right into the concrete ceiling uh, and I wanted to go a different route on this one so but I just wasn't sure how so over the next couple and I'm going to be doing three videos today and again I apologize for the delay but we're going to get you caught up with where we're at over the last about a month and a half and there you can see some of the areas with it uh, in the in interior and that's in the back space behind the wall itself. You can see the electrical, the, the main panel right there and where we're keeping some of the tools and things like that. All of this has really changed. That was just a temporary desk that I had put in for myself and that's even changed now. All right, so coming back through and putting in some of the lights back there. Um, which of course are pretty easy because you, you have to have those petitions are open. So it makes it a little nice. Another another angle looking across the subfed panel. I like to have these these what I call a crawl space area around the exterior. Just makes it nice on all your ancillaries, whether it be plumbing or electrical or whatever, storage. It just makes it so much nicer to get around. And you can see the kitchen we're finishing up with. Little closer view. I've kept that open area over the sink. I wasn't sure how I wanted to do with that. I, I have a very, very large mosaic I was considering putting there that ultimately shows an atlas launch and which i thought would be pretty good i always like the original painting done for um lee gordon cooper's last flight on on gemini or excuse me on mercury it's just absolutely phenomenal And there again, you can see some of the things. No, that's not a safe. It's just a little, a little refrigerator we dr we use for drinks. Another angle. We'll be coming back through and doing the floor giving both sides and giving both those colors another coat and then uh, again 
putting up the emergency backup light. This particular wall I did change. We had set it a little low. Given that it's a bathroom, we went ahead and put a ceiling in it for just a little more privacy. And there you can see we've got the backup lights there. So pretty well coming together. Checking all of the outlets. Right now we're just charging batteries. And of course going through and marking all the circuits and those kind of things there. That's in the utility room. And see the sink itself. We'll be putting the, the water dispenser in there, probably a rack. That's where we'll keep the mops, brooms, those kind of things. Again, that's the obviously the bathroom. Got the emergency backup light in there. And now you're in the, the storage area behind the wall itself. We're going through and I'm installing some lights there, fixed lights. You'll see those temporaries that are hung from the ceiling. Those will all be coming down. I love the new LED backup lights and signage. I mean, what a phenomenal, how much has it changed? A couple of the last sites that we worked on are just, gone ahead and just put in those lights, but I, I don't, I mean, obviously they're too cheap and they just, and they look it. So, <laughs> um, but those new LED lights are just something else take no electricity and yet put off about, oh, anywhere from an hour to two hours of emergency lighting. You'll also notice some of that signage there for the exit sign itself. It cost me a fortune years ago for those. They, they wind up absorbing uh, the light and they put off about an hour's worth of light. So literally, if we were to lose the backup emergency generator, the backup lights, you could see your way out of there um, with just the signage. It's phenomenal. And what I'm doing here is I'm going along and I'm installing two additional lights. And we're going to be putting in switches for all of those. And the utility room. Some of the area in the back we're going to be using for shelving. Again, where I do a lot of my computer work, just temporary. But of course now that's all changed. So it's kind of fun when I'm looking back on these photographs, but it is what it is. A little more organized. in that back area. 
we're running some of the temporary lights. Well, I shouldn't say temporary. Installing the fixed lighting and also the emergency backup lights back there, just in case. There we got Manny back there doing some stuff. Yeah, we're, it's where we're putting the lights in on the other side. So nice to have the back wall open like that. You can basically do whatever you want. A little closer view. Today being the 14th of June, I'll give you just a little idea. I think I'm behind about, oh boy, probably every bit of a month. So, Again, some more of that fixed lighting that I'm putting in. And there you can see some of the work we're doing on the outside. Still have a bit more of the trim to put in. Now you can see the TV console. You can see the one light there on the left. We put in dual lights on each side. In fact, we've done it on every wall there. So. Well, you can see the switches in. And there we're about to put the switch in. Got to cut in. Almost have it wrapped up. We're just now coming off of eight days now, or no, excuse me, seven days on, on this last run. So we're taking a couple days off. I'm heading back out tomorrow, so should have lots more fun. Got most of the upper levels got its first coat of, of color on the floor. Um, half of the lower level so but you'll be seeing those upcoming and there's the other side for the light And I start to unscrew the temporary lights back there because so I can get a better idea of how much primary light we're going to have. And you can see we're just getting the bases up there now. And we got the one side on. I really like those lights. I found them at Home Depot and uh, you know, got them joined together. Now I got the second one on. But wow, it just looks just they just came out so nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's boring. <laughs> You're probably getting tired of me saying that. But anyway, it gives you a pretty close and upfront look at just every step along this this what I like to call a journey. And if, if you're into redoing missile bases like I've been for basically my entire life, I mean, if you haven't heard the story, my grandfather, my 
my great uncles, my my father, um, geez, my other uncles um, on my mother's side, um, all missile bases. So you can imagine what it was like growing up as a child at the dinner table. I mean, there was lots of discussion of, of missile bases. And I mean, all of them from the big Titan ones to um, the Atlas E's, you know, to some of the F's, to all of the Nikes. Um, so anyway, again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen.